Hello everyone, welcome to Train Sim TV. My name's Tom and in today's video we will be having a look at the Metropolitan Line from Just Trains. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this so we're going to have a look at the Uxbridge branch this time. It's one we haven't featured yet. Um, also we will be able to show you some more signalling features along the way as there is um, approach controls and um, trouble signals and all that sort of stuff into platforms. Um, so we'll be able to show you them along the way and show you how they work, what speed you need to do. So we're going to take this train um, out of service to Wembley Park and then we're going to do a service to Uxbridge uh, around 40 minutes running time um, so we're going to get ourselves set up now um, we are also running Linus Folert's um, S7 Plus 1 and S8 sound mod which is available from Alan Thompson's sim um, and we are running the S8 today so we're going to get ourselves set up and get ourselves ready for departure Good morning driver, today you're to run a early morning service to Uxbridge, but before you get started, you must prepare your train ahead for Wembley Park platform. Once set up, await 6.45 and if you have the road, you can depart. Remember to run your restricted manual uh, forward when heading to Wembley. <coughs> right, so, key in. Restricted forward, which is this one down here, one further than the trip cop, which we usually run out on the main line. We'll swap back to trip cop when we get into platform at Wembley. Put some digits in here. Uh, we are train four four three nine 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 because we're out of service. Uh, so that's all set. <coughs> we do need to wait for forty five though. About a minute. The journey total is, on this one, 10 miles to Oxbridge. Got 12 pickups to do. So we're going to call that. So at Wembley Park, we have then Preston Road, Northwick Park, Harrow on the Hill, West Harrow, Rainers Lane, Eastcote, Rislip Manor, Rislip, Ickenham, Hillingdon Swakeleys, and Oxbridge. Things to note on the new sound mod um, is there is a uh, new running sound, new motor sounds, uh, flange sounds. Um, you can hear the new sounds inside the passenger saloon as well. Um, there's no massive change in the cab ap um, apart from you can hear some like new rattling sounds when the trains are going. Um, other than that, um, the, the clicking sounds and the, the whistle are all the same, and the handle power notch sound um, when it clicks in is exactly the same. So we are good to go now. The compressor just kicked in there as well. So the train is restricted at the minute, which holds the train to 10 miles per hour. Um, it won't encroach over it, it will keep it at that speed until we take it out of restricted or unless we take it out of power mode but there's no need to we can just bring it back a little bit and just let it coast This is actually the third take of this video I've done, mainly because the first reason I thought there was something wrong with the signals they weren't giving me the road. Second attempt, I managed to change all the points manually until I realised until we come to the fly under, for some reason I'd managed to break the track. <laughs> there was a split in the track, so the buffer, it was a set of buffers in the fly under, so I've just had to go and re refix the track. Take three, we are good to go. I must have been doing some tweaks somewhere, I must have caught the track and split it somewhere and not quite realised because I've done this um, I have done this scenario on the JT stream once before and I knew it worked which was really throwing me out but we figured it out so happy days
So we're due into Wimper Park at 6.53, but our ETA is about 6.52, so we're a little bit early. Currently. It might change. Start with the new running sounds for you going over the points. Some notable changes on the um, on the bogey sounds in the flange. So it was somewhere around here where there was a break in the track. It was just about this point here. So it only caught me at like the last second. But all fixed now, which is good. Right, so we're just approaching Wembley Park. When it's platform two. So we can now bring the train back into trip cop mode and we can now change our destination. Um, now I don't think there's actually a Wembley Park to Uxbridge. So what I'm going to do is we'll do an old gate to Uxbridge. So we'll put 214 in. It will, it will show Uxbridge at the minute but when we go into our next station it will it'll sort itself out. I'm also aware of that now I haven't got this in on my uh, game because obviously with me on the JT working copy 
Um, there is a mod um, which is available from ATS, which changes the chevrons to the actual Johnston font, I do believe, and I think it puts a bit more colour into the uh, markers. So that's something to bear in mind if you wish to go and grab that. Now, but as I say, I haven't got it installed because I, I'm working on I'm running on the actual JT's master copy. And I've got extra for, um, like bits and pieces that have been done to the root since, which are waiting to go out on an update in in coming weeks or so. Um, so at the minute, it wouldn't be viable for, well, and wise for me to add the mod in because it, to revert, I would have to go and revert to the uh, the release version, which then would mean I have to do all the work again. So well, I could make a backup, but it's just faff. <laughs> so at the minute, I'm not bothering. I will I will end up hopefully getting it when I get to a stage where I can. Ambient sounds. It would be good if you could get this, the ambient sound with the amount announcements actually working with actual trains, saying it would actually be two minutes time. I mean, it could be two minutes away. Let's have a look. Mm, no, not too, not quite two minutes. He's over here waiting to. He's waiting to go. Maybe three or four. So we're just waiting for the uh, the task to finish. We were a little bit early, so it's a little bit longer. I mean, even though you can't see the Jubilee stock, it's nice to at least have the sounds in there, so you can actually get the uh, yeah, the feel of them being about. Right, this is the train for Uxbridge calling all stations, right away driver. First station's Preston Road. We now leave and lose the Jubilee line, which takes off down the fly under here in the on the right hand side, and then takes off towards uh, Stanmore.
the drawing signals don't begin until we get to East Coat. Um, we do have an approach control which is on the approach to uh, Harrow the Hill, um, which we'll show you. Shot opportunity here. If I can get it just right. Possible um, video thumbnail screenshot there as well. You might see me take a few of them across the video. So our next stop is Norfolk Park. I'm just crossing over the West Coast Mainline and the Baker Loop. And now approaching Wick, uh, Northwick Park. So we have an approach control signal um, coming up quite shortly. This one is actually operated at 35 miles per hour. So it's not this next signal, it's the next one in distance, which we'll show in a moment. We'll get a little bit closer, you should be able to see it. So at this point I'd leave it in uh, zero, that's neutral, uh, in power. Now this fog indicator coming up now, as long as you're doing below, f just below 35 miles per hour, and there's no trains routed, you will get the signal. If there's anything coming on the other line that's actually going to get the road in front of you, then it won't change. As long as you're doing below 35 and it changes, then you're all good to go. We're going to platform 4 at Harrow on the Hill as well. Which is sort of 20 miles per hour.
looks like I've just missed the uh, the chevron there. I'm slightly too far forward. So this is where we leave the main lines now and take to the Uxbridge branch. We're going to go and use the fly under. We're going to dive under to the left and then we're going to carry on then towards Rayner's line. Next stop is West Harrow. the station as well while we're up. We haven't actually shown this off on our videos yet. Got custom platforms as well. All stations are custom on the route, apart from a couple which are like the, uh, the Jubilee line ones, which is a bit more generic -y. I mean, they might be, I'm not really sure if they actually are right in real life. I think they are, but I don't think they didn't get any work done to on the Met line, so we've not been used mainly an AI side of things. They've never never got any cosmetic work. Next stop is Rainer's Lane. They're all relatively close to these platforms. Um, there's, a bit, there's a couple of, um, that are a bit further spaced out towards the end of the line. The most stations are about a mile apart. The Oxbridge Ranch itself is about seven miles in, uh, in length. We do join the Piccadilly line as well, um, 
most Piccadilly line trains do terminate at Renners Lane, but there is an occasion. I think there's, it's like every 15 or 30 minutes there is a train or something like that goes down to um, Uxbridge. Not quite certain on the actual timings, but I might have got that. They do slot one in between with the Met line. <coughs> Custom signal box. And again, the custom platform. So East Colt is our next stop and this is the start of the drawing signals. The, they basically work in the same way as an approach control, um, 10 miles an hour so 9.9 .9 at the most in your speed just to make sure the signal triggers over. Slowing down nicely, to the right speed, a little bit of a lag there, that's right, so work. The signal you should see it trigger over any time now. There we go. It's quite hard to catch you, it's last minute. I mean if you go on the other cab side and you waiting to do your chevrons you'll see it, but otherwise you can always go on your head, heads out camera. Quite funky signals these. These actually are wall mounted ones. Actually don't just stick into the wall on the post. Next up we have Ryslip Manor. It's a bit of a 
climbers will look to Rislet Manor. Levels out just beyond the footbridge. So again, same as last station, you start bringing yourself down to 9.9 .9 for the most on the speed. The signal is just located beyond the platform pillar on the bridge. Easy to see actually, to be fair, when you come to stop. Rislip Manor, isn't it? Uh, Rislip, sorry, not Rislip Manor. Um, so, again, we have the same um, speeds coming to the platform. All platforms have this on. Um, so, we do have um, this one, we've got Ickenham that have it, um, also at Hillingdon. And then there's an approach control which gets you into Uxbridge. The approach control is a little bit higher, I think, on speed. I think it's 15. So the blue light hopefully go out as well. That has to do with the trip cop. Which is the arm down here. So what happens is the arm will go down first and then the blue light will go out. So the last couple of stations now, there's a slight bit more of a gap between them all. Um, so we've got Ickenham, a mile 15. Then you have Hillingdon, Spakely, which is quite close to Ickenham. And then you've got another bit of a gap up to Uxbridge. So three miles left on the journey. So we're just crossing underneath the Chiltern Main Line and the Central Line. So the Chilton's this one, and this one's the Central. We also have um, Rislick Depot to the left of us, which you can get into and out of on this uh, crossover here, in the head shunt. Central Line trains and then Engineering Work trains do use that yard as well. So if you do have backdated train sims um, district line, 
you will get the engineering trains through that route. Therefore, you can actually make your own scenarios that use them. I do have one in the works. I just need to finish uh, some of the AI off. I might actually complete that at some point soon. Try and get that one released. I did do a, um, a short Baker, a Baker, no, Piccadilly line, sorry, service, which is on uh, Vulcan Productions. Just runs between Renders Lane, Oxbridge, and then back again. Yeah, stop is Hillingdon. So again, 9.9 .9 on this signal at the, at the most speed. Should change any time now. There you go. One of my favourite stations is uh, Hillingdon. With all the glass on the roof and all the grime as well. Quite a cool station. Another walkway that takes you to the uh, to the main road here, at the entrance. We also have a custom bridge beyond the platform here as well. So our next and final stop is Uxbridge. We're going into platform 3 and we do have one approach control signal ahead of us um, now between us and the, um, the platform. That is the final signal that we will face.
think it's 15 on this one. I'm not over sure. You can get a few chances at different places to try and slow down for it. So we'll try 15. We'll try below. There we go. No, it's below 10. So 9.9 .9 for this one. We'll go into the 15 mile an hour section. We drop down to the station. As well, the magnificent terminus of Uxbridge Station, um, one of the lovely assets on the route. I'm just going to pause it there and just a quick look around at Oxbridge. Ah, here, takes you to the bus area. This way, takes you out to the high street. do hope this video has been beneficial to you as well. Um, this was um, the second signaling guide that we've just sort of that produced for the route. So fingers crossed this one helps you out. Massive thanks to everyone that's watched this uh, this video. If you do uh, if you do enjoy the videos and or have any feedback and all that, do drop us a comment and a like, subscribe and all that lot. Send us a a share around to all your uh, friends and all the groups if you've uh, if you're in there think this might help other people out don't forget you can watch us on twitch on, on a, usually on a wednesday and friday evening uh between half seven and eight o'clock um at night at twitch.tv forward slash train sim tv underscore tom or train sim tv underscore mark uh my channel which is tom's channel which is the one that's mainly on uh mark does regularly uh do odd bits and pieces here and there as well just keep an eye out Again, thank you very much for watching guys, we'll catch you on the next one, take care.